Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Horcrux here and welcome to the channel. So I have some very exciting news for you guys. How do I say it? Ah, we told you so. The Oaken Soul Ring got absolutely crapped on, nerfed into the ground, into oblivion, out of the realm of Tamriel. It is now probably one of the most useless mythic items in all of ESO. And thank you so much for all the PTS jockeys who have been making builds even before the, the first week of the PTS. Like, how can you make a build and say it's broken on a PTS within the first week before the first round of ramifications to the patch notes that came out? Well, congratulations. You wasted all your time because now those builds are never going to see the light of day. And before we dive on into the bread and butter of today's video, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who keep this channel afloat. The best way to support the channel is with a simple like and sub, but if you want to go a little bit further and become an absolute Chad, we do have YouTube memberships enabled as well as Patreon. Some of the benefits include emojis, shoutouts in each and every single one of my videos, links to private Discord channels, and one-on-one -on -one PvP coaching. So if you're feeling a little bit lost, a little bit stuck, everything is down in the description below. Now let's get into the video. All right, welcome back, guys. Thanks again for watching my shameless plug. Anyway, um, we're going to go over a few things and not just the Open Soul Mythic Island, which we will definitely cover, but also some of the Tales of Tributes. Um, long story short, uh, you can now play ranked uh, consistently with this. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on Tales of Tribute just because um, I, un I un ironically, I really don't care. I mean, I've said on stream I'm going to be like the number one ranked player just because I can, which I may still do, even though. It's going to make me want to punch a baby in the trachea again and again and again. But um, I may do it uh, just cause, right? But uh, yeah, apparently you can do uh, ranked item, uh, ranked matches now. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's a good concept. I mean, introducing like a new system in the ESO, you know, a new battle system. I, I still don't understand why you can't make battlegrounds ranked 1v1s, you know, just ban certain sets. And, you know, if you had anyone on your PvP dev team, <coughs> cough, cough, hashtag Horcrux community dev for PvP, applied many times um maybe you could do something like that for the uh, the pvp sweat lords who are you know still in this game i mean that uh, eso at score is a pvp based game so it would only make sense for there to be some sort of ranking system so people can stop cl clipping useless duels and 1vx and exposing everyone and all that drama and that's just a whole lot of nonsense when you can just look at someone's rank yo what rank are you bro oh i'm i'm, I'm rank 500 really oh i'm i'm 112 you know that that ends all all arguments right there so he was better so anyway uh so necromancer living death restoring tether so they change uh, mortal coil to um give you a flat amount of increase instead of recovery um in my opinion is better um recoveries i mean unless you're running like above like like 2500 recovery and yeah, recoveries really don't stack all that well to be honest i think it's better to go with mitigation like like cost reduction instead of stacking into magic recovery like for example on my mag dragonite i only run 900 recovery and have like the best sustain ever and people say how you do that i'm like well because i uh <clears throat> i have cost reduction because <laughs> it, it's just better um stat for stat but uh, that changes to a living death nightblade uh path of darkness some sort of visual effect um sorcerer there's this really um niche stamina burst that uh you can do with the the heavy attacks and uh shenanigans with crystal weapons um they, they've since nerfed this which is pretty heads up on their part i mean i've not been hit with, like this a lot but for them to know this exists and is a little too powerful i mean it is for them to address this i mean this is a good change the arctic wind change was not a good change um someone should really play magden on, on the dev team <laughs> gilliam right thank you gilliam uh so uh, Eclipse, Living Dark more. So this did take a heavy nerf, as you guys know. Um, so they did reduce the cost of it to compensate and, and also increase the duration of the morph to 10 seconds. I think that's a little much still, to be honest. Um, I am a very anti Magplar enthusiast, right? As you guys may very well know or not know. But uh, um, 10 seconds, this is fine. I mean, it is some sort of buff because the, the heal just, just completely got crapped on. Um, the rest of this is just companion. Uh, Responses, rapport, I mean, stuff you don't really need to worry about. Now, mythic items. So, uh, mythic items. Um, this is a, a visual effect. Like, who cares? Harpooner's waiting kilt. Um, essentially, they increase the stack duration of this from 10 seconds up to 20, helping you stack these throughout the dungeon when you fight. Cool, you know, some PvE changes. Now, to the bread and butter of the build. Uh, Oak and Soul Ring. Uh, I love reading this. I, I'm going to go to bed just reciting this in my head. And this is, uh, this is nice. This set now grants major buffs rather than unique stats.
well played well played so what happens is um this is why iron blood is so over, over tuned and overpowered is because iron blood gives you a unique stat that no other set gives you it gives you a flat 30 percent damage mitigation this isn't a buff or anything that means all these major minor buffs can stack on top of that and passives as well so giving anything a unique stat you really need to be careful what you do so instead of giving you the 450 weapon damage the critical strike the the health uh, you know max stats you know whatever instead of giving giving you the the armor they just consolidated all these into their uh counterparts of major buffs which i mean when you look at this mythic item like they didn't even change any of the numbers they were just like um What's uh what major courage do? Oh, it's uh it gives you like uh you know 450 weapon and spell damage. Put it on. Yo, what's uh what's major resolve do again? Uh, what uh what's that major buff do? Oh, it's uh it gives you like 5,200 something armor. Yeah, put that on it too. You know they they didn't even change the number values. They, they they had no unique thought about this whatsoever. So I mean points for trying to make a different myth mythic item but minus two points for literally using the exact same numbers and coming up with zero originality to this mythic item so uh yeah uh spoiler alert yeah it was overtuned um one thing i will say that i saw in um some of my comments about um using werewolf in pve and i like some people actually get kicks because you know they use uh, werewolves for like pve builds um, you know, DPSing the get kicked just because it's trash, and there's there's like, yeah, you know, um, I really like playing the werewolf. You know, it's, it's very immersive, and this soul ring was gonna be awesome for me. You know, uh, I'd stop getting kicked, you know, because you know, obviously, you know, a werewolf is laughable DPS. It's not laughable, but there's obviously a lot better routes to go down. But um, I would like to see more viability for werewolf builds. I mean, I mean, let's be real. This mythic item and prior to this nerf would have been great for PVE. Now, if you get to rein this in for PVP specifically. You know, just left the way the mythic item was for PvE perfectly fine. And then for PvP, when you go into a PvP environment, whether it be duels or having the battle spirit passive active, then it converts to these major passives. I think that would be a great way to balance that mythic item and the entire game, actually. You cannot put all of these sets and bonuses and expect them to be balanced in PvE and PvP. You need to mutually make these exclusive entities. For example, if you're in PVE environment, these need to be the PVE stats. You have the PVE junkie devs working on PVE. You have your PVP dev team. Okay, let's change these sets, bring them in for PVP. So when you step into a PVP environment, whether it be battlegrounds, dueling, open world, sewers, whatever, these are how the sets are gonna function. Why there's not this tree divide between these sets is why this game is so hard to balance and so chaotic and so just kind of out of control it seems at times so if Zoss can take this approach and divide these into two entities pve set bonuses pvp set bonuses like any other mmo does world of warcraft even lost ark you know okay just to name a couple like they do that just because that's how you balance the game that's that's how you make it balance you can't balance it for both of them that's that's ludicrous you have to have an amazing team for that i mean and a lot of people and uh let's be real have you seen the job postings there's like 20 engineer positions so i i doubt that's in the cards for them it's not de definitely not a tells tribute power play card you've activated my my trap card 20 software engineers <laughs> go <laughs> anyway <laughs> um uh, trial sets i uh, they, they they just changed some things for coral riptide i don't think anyone's talking about this really doesn't matter um shape shift for shane this set now also or reduces the cost of world of active abilities so um that's good so they they, they put this 15 percent cost reduction in this kind of make up for this mythic item so i mean this is cool i mean I, I like that change just to give the furries a little bit more of their love um the rest of this this bts is just kind of you know whatever add-ons and um so um last thing um i did hear a rumor that there may or may not be an option to toggle group healing on and off for example, if I cast Rapid Regen and it's going to a fucking mud crab on the shoreline, I'm trying to 1BX, that shit will stop. There is a rumor of that happening. I'm not sure if that's complete hopium at this point, but I think that would be a great feature to include. Just literally hit start or hit, hit escape, go to your settings, 
just have a toggle group here just a slider on off on off on off if you want to heal anyone cool have it off if you want to heal just you or your group fucking toggle it on how hard is that Zod? like come on come on but uh, um, that's all i really want to talk about guys um, I just want to thank you all for watching the end of this video if you made it. Uh, please like and sub if you haven't already. Go follow me on Twitch because I will be dual streaming on both platforms because they have removed the exclusivity clause for uh, Twitch streamers. So now everyone is going to start streaming on Twitch and YouTube. So I want to kind of get that ball rolling on Twitch as well. So if you're sub to the channel, you like the content or, you know, whatever. Go follow me on Twitch. Link is down in the description and also in the banner on my channels. Um, there's also an option to... Uh, it's called a super thanks now on youtube you can tip a content creator just on the video instead of having to find them in stream or instead of having to donate to them on patreon or youtube memberships now you can just tip them based on the video and what i'm going to do um, if i start getting a couple of these you know every now and then i'm going to start a section at the beginning of my videos to where i think each and every one of you who actually you know, $1.99, 99 cents, you know, whatever, you know, it's tipping me for, you know, videos or if that ever happens. But yeah, um, you guys will definitely get the recognition uh, you deserve if you throw me a tip, you know, on a video here and there. I'll, I will definitely, you know, give you a shout out in my videos as well. So um, with all that being said, guys, uh, this has been Horcrux. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, I just leave them down in the top section. We will discuss them thoroughly and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.